hello everyone welcome back and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a elegant logo animation clean elegant logo animation using adobe after effect so before starting this tutorial please make sure that you have subscribed my channel and press the bell icon to get all of my new videos notification if you are subscribed my channel then i get inspired to create more videos about adobe after effects so let's have a look what we'll create today This was the animation that we will create in this video. So let's start. First go to file and import all files in it. You can download all of this file you can uh, from the link in video description. So let's import this folder. Now go to composition create a new composition. Rename it domain. I am using 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 19.97 29.97 frame rate per second and duration 8 seconds. Now click OK. Now go to footage folder and drag the background image to here. Now go to logo composition and drag our logo here. Press S to open scale. I am set its scale value to 35 or 34. Now right click on your mouse and pre-compose this logo. Don't forget to select move all attribute to new com. Now again pre-compose this logo composition and rename it to logo animation. Again select move all attributes then click ok. Now go to effect and presets window. And search for card wipe. Apply it to this logo animation. Now go to around 1 second and 19 frames. And create a keyframe here and change transition completion to 0. Go back to the first frame and make it to the 50%. And change the rows to 50 and columns to 80. Change the flip axis to y axis. Now go to the position sitter and press U to open keyframe. Go here and make the position sitter exit amount to 4, 0. Create a keyframe here and go back to the first frame and make it to 4. Now make it 3D layer, click here to make it 3D, press R to open rotation, go to the 1 second and 19 frames again. Create a keyframe to Y rotation and go back to the first frame and make it to minus. 180 now press s to open scale create a keyframe here go back to the first frame and change its below to 308 
now press u to open all of this keyframe select all of them and to make them easy is click here to open graph editor if you don't like your graph editor like this then right click on mouse and select edit speed graph Now let's see the preview. Now right click on your mouse, go to new and create a new text. Type your text here, you can type your channel name or company name here. I am using a font called Leto, you can download this font. Go to window and open align, center it. Now right click on this text layer and pre-compose it. Rename it to text. Select move all attribute. Now right click new create a new shape layer and select this rectangular shape here turn off the stroke and select black color then create a shape like me. Now select the text layer and go to this track mat if you don't find this then click here to find this. Now select alpha mat. Now select this text layer, press P to open position, create a keyframe here and bring down this here. Now go forward few frames and again go back here. Now we can find this kind of animation. Select this keyframe and right click on your mouse, make it as it is. So now let's create a shadow here. Select this background, right click, go to new, create a new solid and I am rename it to shadow. Press S to open scale and change this scale to 10 this to 2 click here to unlink this and make it to Now select this shadow layer, go to effect window and go to blur and sharpen and select Gaussian blur. Increase this blur amount to 900. Now you can see something like this. Now you can select this, go to effect, blur and sharpen and select directional blur. Change this to 90 degree. Now press S again and you can now press T, <coughs> open opacity and change it to 50%. Now make it to 3D layer <coughs> and select this and connect it to this logo animation. 
now select this shadow layer go to something here press t to open opacity make it zero create a keyframe here go to here and make it 50 percent and again make it easy as now our animation is looking like this so now again go to project window and go to photos and drag the lens flare above all of this layer and change this mode to screen now let's have a look so select this lens flare and drag this something like here So this is our animation is complete. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video then share it with your friends and comment how you like this. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. You must subscribe my channel to get all of my new videos notification.